Elijah is a in Clay Herman from Hot Springs Daily. Thank you for being willing to be interviewed for for us about Champion College. Now your last name, Elijah, is Smoot. Smoot. S M O O T P. Smoot. Now you're the second Elijah I've interviewed here. It seems to be just based on what I've done so far, pretty thick with Elijahs. Yeah. How many, how many of you think there are? Um, in the school is only two, but I've met maybe five in my lifetime. Oh, but two in the school. Yeah. Okay. And it's a pretty. It's a student population is only about seventy. Seventy right now. Okay. So that's a lot of Elijahs and just less than a hundred students in it. And really you, you feel crowded. Eh, maybe a little bit, but it's okay. I was here first. So. You were here first. Oh, the other guy was—he was a—he was, was a usurper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Where did you come here from? I came here from Great Mills, Maryland. Um, it's about a twenty-hour drive for me. Great, Great Mills, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Great Mills, Maryland. And about a twenty-something-hour drive. Yes. yes sir. Um, so that's how you got here. You drove. Mm -hmm. It was. Uh, and she had a vehicle here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. And why did you come so far away? to a, a small Christian college in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Um, there's a lot of reasons all combined, you know, down from preacher Eric Abeza. He was uh, the uh, president here. He is amazing. He's great. And How did you know him? I knew him from, he traveled up there to preach every summer. He would do like a youth camp or something like that. And okay. growing up, I was youth camp every single summer. And I was always there. Okay. And I always admired him. Never really thought I'd get to know him, you know. And then I got a call from him. Actually, he specifically called me talking about the college and I was like wow he's taking the time out of his you know his time to talk to me he's got something special so I came down here to visit but I guess the main reason because when I came down here there was such a family atmosphere and just such a just a friendly just everyone's kind of loves each other and everyone's working together for one main goal um, that one main goal is just to live better for Christ just to be a better Christian for Christ and so that's what uh, that's what I got from this place and that's the feeling I got and I loved it ever since I came you didn't say anything I could argue against, almost, as far as being bad, it all sounded good. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you though, uh, you, family, you have some family then in Maryland, mm -hmm. who, who do you have in Maryland? Um, I have my mom, my dad, um, my grandmother, and then I have 11 brothers and sisters. So mom, dad, grandmother, 11 brothers and sisters, 11 brothers and sisters, mom. you were a homeschool family, no doubt, right? Yes sir. Were you really? Yes sir. <laughs> Kindergarten all the way up to twelfth grade. Okay. Well, I was. I didn't think the answer would be yes, but it was. Uh, I, I know several large homeschool families in our area. So that's quite interesting. So you are positioned where in your among your eleven peers? I'm, I'm the oldest. You're the eleven. You're not. I'm the oldest boy. So I'm like number four. I have three older sisters. There's a total of eleven. Mm -hmm. and you're well, it's a total of twelve. A total of twelve, and you're the oldest boy. So I'm number four, I have three older sisters, and then I'm wow. next. Okay. Sounds very good. And what was life like in Maryland for you? What, did, were you country folk? Did you live on a farm? Or um, no, sir. We lived, we lived in the city. So basically it was you know, school. But what city were you in? Um, was it, uh, it's not really like a city like cities are now. It was more like a, kind of like a county, I guess, St. Mary's County. It was Great Mills is what we okay. called it. So Subdivisions and... Mm -hmm. And the camp that you went to, whereby you were aware of, of uh, Eric, Eric Basie, was where? It was in Pennsylvania. It's about a three hour drive from where I live. Um, it's called High Point Camp. And so that's where you would come to preach every single year. So that's why I heard it. Very good. And did, were you immediately comfortable coming to the South? Was it a culture shock for you? Definitely. <laughs> Things are definitely a little bit different. People are a lot more friendly down here. The cooking is fantastic. So, like, you go into Walmart and they actually want to talk to you online. Like, you have a conversation with someone you don't even know. So, it was a culture shock, but it was a good Well, I was actually thinking of very, very thank people standing in line at a grocery store and think folks from the north. You, you go probably in Maryland, people would be all freaked out if you tried to talk to them. Who, why yeah. are you talking to me? Yeah, seriously. That was my first reaction. I was just like, do I, do I know you from somewhere? Like, and they're just like, no, no, it's nice to meet you. I was like, oh. So it was a good change. I mean, like I said, it's a culture shock, but it was a good one. And everything was good, or was was there something that was not so good? Um, 
I can't really say there's anything negative right at first. Like, it was just a little bit different than I was used to. You know, people are a whole lot more, like, the activities down here aren't the same. Like, right, we're trying to give you a chance to say something. <laughs> give you a chance to say that Maryland is better about something. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I can say one thing is much better is the weather. By far. I love the weather up there. Like, I'm a more of a cooler guy during the wintertime. It's cold, and sometimes it's hot, but not too hot. Okay. It's been my first summer here in Hot Springs, and it was... It took me by surprise. I definitely can say I walked outside and I thought I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I had to come back inside and take a couple breaths before I got back out there. Yeah, you wonder before air conditioning how do people cope? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it was pretty rough. And you're in school here. What are you taking? Um, I'm taking um, a music um, a music major, I guess. And so I'm taking classes like um, piano lessons, of course, and then music appreciation, um, music theory, and then music oral skills, and maybe a music practicum. So are you a singer yourself? I'm a pianist. Not a singer at all? I sing, but I'd rather play the piano any day, so... Okay. Pianist, okay. Mm -hmm. You can jam pretty good? Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't want to sound prideful, but I can, I can play you know, whatever style. Like, you know, I can do jazz, I can do classical. Uh -huh. Nothing new Zydeco on piano or not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, we don't have a piano here, I guess. We got some keyboard, probably a little some program, but I don't know. But I do sing too. I, I sing uh, um, opera, I sing, you know, black gospel, I sing southern gospel. That's what I'm saying. I did an interview recently of Elvin Beard, who's a, a, a local um, president of the NAACP in Hot Springs. He sang for me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> video, he sang a little bit of a Mos uh, Go Down Moses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was a little kind of complaining that the church he goes to in, in, in town, they don't do any of the black Negro spirituals and yeah. kind of transition to That's one thing I do like about here in Hot Springs, like here at Gospel Light and Champion, we do a little bit of both. So tomorrow we're doing a couple of black gospel worship songs in chapel. Yeah. So I'll be oh, so those some old ones, like the neat spirituals? Yes, we'll be doing those uh, tomorrow, actually. I mean, yeah. So I'm excited. What are you going to do? Um, Looking at it old, it's not too old, but we call it um, uh, Friend of God, that's what we call it. Um, and then a song called Every Praise. And so those aren't too old, but they're still a little bit more on the older side. And so okay. those are two not, 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 not 200 years old. But. Not 200 years old. That one I'm actually kind of saving for a special. So like a solo thing instead of like a worship. So Which one is that? Um, we could go down Moses. Oh, oh have you said that? Thinking about you, sir. Oh, that'd be great. I used to sing that as a child. We sang uh, a lot growing uh, up. The famous, famous uh, Louis... Uh, Famous musician did that one. Uh, I don't know. I heard it by so many people. Um, Armstrong. Armstrong. Louis yes, Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Yeah, he did that. Mm -hmm. Did that very, very well. Oh yeah. So music. Do you have an ambition then? Maybe as a as a for a living to to be a, a musician musician in. In a church or yes, in, in um, some Christian ministry or something? Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, I got a job offer from a man named Kirk Kirkland in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm going to be his music pastor um, as well as assistant pastor. I actually got engaged to his sister-in-law this past Sunday. So. Oh. This past Sunday? Yes, yes, sir. And where did you meet her? I met her here at Champion, so we were freshmen. Well, how together. convenient. Huh? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was great. Well, it's a, a full-service college, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. So I got a job, I got a fiance, you know, it's great. Uh, got an education, a job, fiance, everything. Uh, and outlook for the future, but maybe some meaningful, interesting work. Yeah, just, I love it up there. So I, I travel there every, every other weekend or so. So what's your, what's your fiance's name? Her name is Christy, Christy Fannin. Christy Fannin? Mm -hmm. You want to shout out to her? Hey, what's up, Christy? It's good to see you. I miss you. Can't wait till I can see you again. And you just got engaged when? Sunday. Sunday. Um, that today is Wednesday. Okay, so it's like your world is now upside down. Oh, yeah, it's still okay. fresh. It's still fresh. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you very much, Elijah. Thank, thank you. And appreciate your taking some opportunities. It's been interesting and good. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. Congratulations on your game. Thank you.